Mael versus Thrall. For Doomhammer. None can escape my fury. Hail, friend. Greetings, friend. I hope you like my invention. The calm before the storm. Justice is mine! If you're sure... Amazing! Wonder. And you, and you, and you! My shield for Argus! Hail, friend. There is little time. My hand is too full. 
fall. Hail, friend. Double Pump Azzurano, extra Starware, High Mountain Ice, and for Mana Spice coming right up. Well played. My shield for Argus! I want you, and you, and you! Smart move. I concede. A tactical error.
versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. I will fight with honor. I greet well you. Well met. By the holy light! For justice! For justice, the battle! It's time to test your metal. Too slow. I wonder. For justice!
My brood will survive. Why do you go? Handle it! For justice. What are those boxes on either side of the game board? <coughs> they are the deck, and then the right hand side is my deck, and the left hand side is a card he has played. That is what they are. Yup. I can't see my points, like I can um, I can just see what cards he's played. That is all. Vic 
victory is yours. Oh, that would be cheating. That would be cheating if I could do that. Okay, let me just adjust that. Um, okay, maybe now you can hear me better. Um, not sure how it is. Uh, let me know how that is. Hopefully that's uh, it's a bit better. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Mick decks drive me crazy. Yeah, I don't really like Midor. I'm just uh, just trying this one out. Oh, thank you for the, the follow. Uh, much appreciated. my notification oh yeah you followed you uh i've been playing hearthstone for uh, a couple of years but i stopped playing for ages and uh yeah i went playing other games like the sims and um and starcraft and, and fortnite and uh yeah what games uh, do you play Ooh, they play this one. Let's go. Oh, I was gonna sim SoundCloud. Damn, let's play one. Let's play. Let's play. Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hi there. Uh, I was calling regarding your uh, your, your Craigslist ad about the, uh, the 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 ride. Yes. P perfect. And, and out of curiosity, do you have any availability to tomorrow for, for for a ride from from Charleston to to Columbia? Uh, I sure do. Uh, I could get you uh, in the morning. Okay. Uh, that 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 sounds reasonable. I, I I'd be okay with that. I, I guess I'm also kind of curious. Would I be riding solo or how many people? I've been there some for years and years, but I didn't play a few rounds. Yeah. Like me, it's a pretty good game. I guess my only concern is, you know, I do have a couple just, you know, 
uh, minor health problems. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, uh -huh. you'd be okay. World of Warcraft. Oh, uh, nice. You play, um... You know, I have a little bit of... You ever play uh, StarCraft or other games? What games do you play? Well, it's my thing. Oh, okay, got you, got you, got you. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I played WoW well, like once and I did the whole level up to 90 pack thingy. And uh, yeah, that was about it. I played a. Uh, health problems, mainly a weak bladder. Is a druid and a warlock. Also IBS. I'm okay. not sure if you're familiar with IBS. Yeah, I'm familiar. Yeah, I'm so, familiar. So, so I, I do have the, the occasional, you know, f you know, fl 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 flatulence issues. But uh, aside from that, I understand. Uh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no worries. Where in Colombia do you need to get to exactly? Um, All right, got gotcha. you. It's not gonna be too deep into Colombia, but, but I guess one of my concerns is, you know, I just want to find. Sinister strike. Oh. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. A good driver, and like I said, I do have a couple, yeah, sure. a couple of health issues and, and a little bit of a weak stomach. Yeah. So would you be able to drive, you know, pretty slow and steady? I know you're, you're kind of in a rush, but I want to just make sure that, you know, if, if you're just, if you're, yeah. if you're swerving well. around too much. Oh, you see, I, I'm, I'm crap at Fortnite, and, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. Maybe he could uh, teach me uh, how to play Fortnite then. Uh, I'm crap. What class do you play in, in uh, Hearthstone? <laughs> yeah. calling about the French lesson? Oh yes, hi. I was just following up about the uh, the French lesson. I wanted to see if, you know, you, you were ready to run the Frenchy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll teach you some, a couple of things over the telephone if you'd like. Okay. Okay, uh, one thing that's very easy is, you know, if you're obviously... Rush, you're to I will hold them on. You want to be able to ask, you know, where's the toilet? You know, like, where are the toilets? And it's a bonjour, who sold the toilet? It's Dutch Ben Jury or sold the... Oh, nice. 1994. Shit, since I was four years old. Man, that's crazy. Banjuri. Um, <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, I would, I would love to hear her say Banjuri. Banjuri. That's a so great. Do you know how to say, you know, like, um, you know, like je, je, like je m'appelle, whatever her first name is. That is my name is. I, I know that one. Oh, you know that one too. Okay, perfect. So are you gonna hire me or what? I don't really know. Can we see the first lesson first, and then definitely? Yeah, I know, but I just I'll give you a small, like very small taste right now. I just <laughs> checks, you know. But the next, the next lesson will be a hundred fifty dollars. Hundred and fifty? Yeah. Uh, but I'm the best of the best, you know. I'm the um. Best. Okay, I will. In I will let you know. Can we meet like after the first class? We can tell. 
Yeah, we can do that. Ab after the first 150, we can do that. Yeah, it's no problem. We can meet all you want. Okay, sure. And the first lesson is how much? Is it free? Yeah, well, or? We, you just got the first free lesson, but we just went over for 15 minutes. So that's 15 minutes is, is you know, 0.15 times, you know, uh, 50. It's, it's a quarter of, 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 of 200, so that would be 50, right? Okay, I'll let you know soon. Thank you. <laughs> but, how okay. you but, but then when, 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 when are you going to pay me the $50? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hello sir, how are you doing? I'm good sir, thank you. Okay, I, yeah, I think I, I spoke to your wife a second ago. She said that you were going to go ahead and uh, take care of the outstanding product. Yeah, we don't think you're not interested, but in future if we want, we'll contact with you. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you see, I gave you the free lesson and then it went over. So like now it's my hourly rate because you owe me $50, you understand? For what $50? I taught her how to say banjuri. I taught you her how to say You banjuri for $50? <laughs> oh my god, this thing. I'm not interested, don't call me, please. I know, but I accept checks too, okay? Money orders, checks, PayPal, Western Union, like, no problem. I said I'm not gonna pay, I didn't like your way of teaching. I don't like it. No, no, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm fucking angry! Hold on, let me, let me, but no, 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 it's not over. Let me talk to her. Wait, I fucking hate you. Wait, but Bri Brianna, Brianna, hear me out real quick. I'm so, I'm so, 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 hello? Brianna? <laughs> hello? Hey, what's up, man? Um, it is Brianna around. I feel so bad. I want to talk to her so badly. I don't want to talk to her. Hey, hey Brianna, Brianna. I, I messaged her. Oh, you did? Oh, I was hoping you didn't. Wait, what'd you say to her? I said, don't, I don't even know. I don't want to, I said, I'm psychotic. Um, on the bright side, you live in a different state and never see this girl ever. So worst case, just like a funny haha. -ha, like, I can't believe that happened. Oh, um, but, so funny. Um, I can't wait to tell my grandchildren about <laughs> this. <laughs> Um, so I'm not sure if you're familiar with who I am, but my name is Russell. I'm a voice actor and prankster. I, I like prank calls is like my wheel. It's well, my you did a damn good job. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I heard before you hung up was, it's over. And then oh I was like, oh, shit. I was like, no, no, no. no. Um, so just know that AJ is actually incredibly faithful to you. He wouldn't do something like that. They, they, they call me the fat raider, you know. Well, that's not nice. Well, where's John, you know? He will not be here for another... Hello? Hey there, how you doing? Uh, listen, do you have any plans this evening? Who's calling, My name's please? Billy. Uh, I live in the neighborhood, actually. Uh, listen, I threw a pizza party tonight, but no one came, unfortunately. Uh, would you want to come over? Uh, I'm in the throes of um, moving, and... Uh... <laughs> And I'm not feeling terribly well, so I think I would have to decline. It sounds like a lovely well, idea. I know it's kind of but strange, I'm, I'm, but maybe we could get to know each other and become friends. <laughs> Which floor are you on? The thing is, I was expecting a ton of people, so I ordered 18 extra large pizzas. But everybody canceled <laughs> on me at the last minute, so you wouldn't want to come help me eat these? Uh, no, I'm not into pizza in the big way. Sorry. <laughs> don't live that far away from me. You could be here in just 10 minutes, uh, according to that Google Maps. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, thank you very much, but no thanks. Wait, so is it a yes or a no? I will hold that it's a no. Oh, I'm sure you... Like a month. <laughs> exactly, yes. No, I'm sure you'll find somebody to help you out. These ain't no whole week pizzas, I'll tell you what. Yes, no, I, I, I don't eat pizza, and I'm, I'm sorry. You take but care thank now. you. I'll send you an invitation for my next party in the mail. Maybe you can come then, okay? Okay. You've been pranked by OwnagePranks.com. <laughs> Download the app and send funny pranks now. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, I, I came in there, you know, a little while ago, and you know, uh, I, I got a little puppy, and I just been having some issues, so I, I didn't know if I could just call back and ask y'all for some insight on like just behavioral analysis on a puppy. Um, uh, what puppy is this? Well, I got like a little cute pug over there. Okay. I, 
I, I guess let, let me just cut to the chase because like I'm just I'm real confused right now. I just want a couple answers. So like, do you know if dogs choose a sexual orientation or for some like they kind of just like born weird or like orientation about what about them being. Yeah, like, 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 like they uh, sexual like orientation because, or? yeah, like that, like humping or sniffing or whatnot, because like, I, I don't know why, but there seems to be like a, a situation where the dog, no matter what, is always approaching men and just trying to sniff their privates, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's never women, it's well, that's always, it's always that's men. something normal in all dogs, that's how they get to know you. No, no, I, I totally um, understand, but, but wouldn't they not discriminate though? Because it only seems like they do it to men, like always, always, like I literally have a, have a woman stand in front of them and he just turns around. <laughs> I didn't want to get him neutered, but I felt bad. Like, he got some like big old balls and stuff. Like, to cut him off, I felt like it must be real painful. So, like, they don't, they don't really see because they go under anesthesia. You still have to neuter him too. Like, it doesn't. That actually calms him down a lot from his behavior. Um, that has nothing to do with. Not in their nature. I guess I'm just wondering because like I'm just starting to get some like weird looks and stuff from my homies because I don't know like they starting to think that like you know he takes after his owner and like maybe he's doing gay things because of my behavior. So, like I just I, I'm just curious you know like like. Hey, I, is there happen to be like a like a, in the meantime though until I can do that or for that like is there like a or something like that or my son love do that would that would act as like a dog repellent so that he could go to girls maybe and not, not me? Well like I, I do think that like you know he he picks up after me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to like just see if I can like, you know, like just kinda like just teach him like how to not do this. So I don't know, like do I gotta go get on my hands and knees and start sniffing people's privates or like <laughs> um, no, sir, it doesn't really, like they said, it's, it's more behavioral problems than in general being, you know, it has nothing to do with homosexuality and adults. The forest fights back. I got you. Yeah, ever since I heard you say that whole thing about, like, just how, how they pick up after you and stuff, like, it all makes sense now, because I'm trying to think back now, because at one point, you know, my dog saw me plow on my boo-boo birthday, and, and I think he got the same ideas at me, because the next time he was at the park, he was doing like the same things, you know what I'm saying? So like, he was using all my moves. Like, 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 you know, like. He's your baby. Yeah, that's right. Like, he got the lust and thrust, the organ grinder. Like, I mean, I'm thinking maybe if we just watch some adult films together, maybe he'll develop a taste for, for, for vagina instead of penis. <laughs> you know what I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, the dog is not even gonna know what the video is about. It's more just in smell. I got um, you. Okay. And like, so like, yeah, do, do, do they get attracted to like pungent smell? Is, is bad hygiene like attractive? Because I, I take a lot of showers and stuff, but I don't know why he, I, maybe he likes my shampoo or something like that. Maybe another good thing is like, you would have to get yourself checked out. Maybe you had some issue um, around that area because <clears throat> sometimes dogs would alert that. Oh, really? Like, do you, do you, do you think he might yeah, think, he might, I might, I might have smell. like, like the herpaderp or something like that? <laughs> Yeah, you just have to go to the doctor and see, maybe he's telling you something and you, you're misinterpreting that with homosexuality. Um, yeah, it's, so it's just, just weird, honestly, yourself like, it's out, go to the vet. I will do that. It's just like there's so many weird indications. I just don't know how to react. It's like even even when like I, I was watching some of my old sex tapes with my boo boo, and he was he goes up to the TV and like and like licks the shamlam dubli on the damn TV. So like he, he's just something wrong with him. You just have to accept him as, as he is. If he's almost sexual, you just have to accept him, right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Honestly, I'm, I'm about to put up a rainbow. I was, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put a rainbow flag outside my door, you know, in solidarity and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm all about that. I never expected to have a dog of gay descent myself, you know, of but I'm Of gay descent, you know, Jesus Christ. Get, get, get him neutered to begin with, and then from there, he keeps doing the same things, and you're showing him all those videos, and he keeps continuing to do it. Have to get yourself checked out. Okay, uh, okay, alright, I'm just like, I, yeah, I would love a second opinion. I'm just on the fence of, of like, taking away that gift from him, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's big ball, yeah. it's, it's, that's a gift. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's not gonna help if he's homosexual, you know? Yeah, I'm just, I have an idea. How about I swim through real quick and, like, let's just, like, do a quick test. I, 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 we'll just see if he sniffs your privacy. Because, like, he'll, 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 he'll definitely sniff mine. Like, you'll see him, right? Like, he'll be all over mine. But, like, there's any other questions, you could always give us a call back. Alright, boo-boo. Well, I'm gonna come through and see you right now, alright? So, like, go.
I might have oh, okay. to, if my dog diagnoses any health issues okay. with you though, I might have to charge you like a little bit. Like if he finds out you got lupus or something like that, you better pay me. <laughs> Okay. Have a good day, sir. Right. Right. Okay. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Oh, All right, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? I saw your advertisement on work. Could I try? Uh, could I? For what? Uh, for, for the iPhone. You had an iPhone? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, yeah, man, I, I would love to trade you for that. Oh, yeah? What do you got to trade? I, I do have, it's a pretty good condition, uh, iPhone 4, uh, it's a 4S, <laughs> but ho hold on, yeah. I, I, I know it may not seem like all that, uh, you know, uh, you know, when I first mentioned it, but what's real important is, it was actually Drake's phone, and he used it to come up with music videos. Oh, it was Drake's phone? Yeah, yeah, so, so, so Drake owned it, you know what I'm saying, are you familiar with him? Yeah, no, man, I'm kind of looking for cash. But I also do have, I have, do you know Tupac? What about Tupac? Well, I do have his 1995 Motorola phone. Uh, it was actually the phone when he got shot. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm, the reason I'm still on the phone with you is because you're entertaining me right now. Like, not the biggest load of bullshit I've heard. Right? I'll, I'll give you Tupac's phone and, and Drake's phone. Yo, that, that's like a hip hop like sensation right there, man. That, that's, like, that shit will go in the museum, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why would you put it in a fucking museum, man? Because, man, I, I, I like you. I think you a good dude. And, like, I, I want to give you this opportunity first, you know what I'm saying? Before it just sits there in the museum. Ain't nobody going to use it, man. You might be the next big thing. 600 cash. When you get it, call me back. If not, don't waste my time. Take okay, price. Tupac's phone. Drake's... <laughs> dude, I was struggling to say that Tupac line. I was wanted to laugh so hard. Hello? Hey, look, I look... You drive a hard bargain, so I kind of went back to the drawing board. I caught up my cousin to see what we could do here, and uh, but my, my cousin actually knows Drake's barber, and he has his last T-blade from his haircut, so he gets all them shape ups and stuff like that. So I want to get you the two phones and the T-blade. This is the most retarded phone call I've ever gotten in my life. Yo, yo, but, but come on, man. Like that, that, that's like you know that, that's not socially correct no more, man. You can't be using the R word. So like, you know, one of my brothers has that. So like, you gotta relax, dog. Can you apologize about what you said real quick? No, not a chance in hell. Don't call my fucking phone no more, you hey, fucking fool. Hey, dog, come on. How you gonna say the R word like that? <laughs> <laughs> the R word. Listen, man. Oh, shit. Right? No, I, I feel you, man, but honestly, I got offended by what you said. Stop calling no, my I, fucking if phone. If you just say, sorry, you real, if you just say sorry real quick, just say sorry real quick about the whole R word. Like, say sorry to you, you fucking crackhead. Don't call my phone. Listen, no, I didn't, you don't have to say sorry. Just say sorry, man. <laughs> Fucking Hello? Uh, honestly, man, that, that was rude, I Like, kind of being disrespectful. Man, do me a favor, please. Uh, please, just say sorry, man. Like, real quick. You're gonna stop me off here. And you're gonna put me into a really bad mood. Dog, having a pretty good day so far. Listen, I'm having, I'm having a good day too, and, and you disrespected me. My phone, you disrespected me and my brother, man. You, you disrespected us. I'm just I asking. I don't give a fuck about you. Just, just your listen, dog. Brother. Just say sorry real quick. Like, it's not that big of a deal, I'm man. Stop it. Man, take the goddamn much. stick out of your ass. Phone. Take the motherfucking Luke, stick out of your ass, dog. Why you being a little bitch? Just fucking. Yeah, man, I had to call you from Tupac's Motorola phone, man. Like, I just really just want you to say sorry right quick. And that's all. If you could just no, man, man never up. Gonna happen. Why can't you just man up and say sorry, man? Like, never in a million years. Why you gotta be so hard headed, man? Like, I just don't get it, man. Like, like you kind of being a little bitch nah, right now. Man. With all due respect, you being a little bitch. So, like, just. just oh, bro, you gotta cancel that shit quick, man. No, Real I, quick. That's really trying to piss me off. Don't I, say stupid shit like that. I'm gonna fall asleep. What, what you said about my brother would piss me off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hi. I was calling about the uh, iPhone on Craigslist. Uh, on Kijiji, rather, sorry. Okay. What is the condition of it? It didn't really mention in the ad. It's only a month old. I just uh, I just signed a new contract for a uh, Hello's phone. I got the iPhone 6S, and then, uh, like, two weeks later, I bought out the uh, iPhone 7 Plus, so it's in, like, mint condition. Oh, gotcha. No, well, I was talking about the iPhone 5 you had up. I don't have an iPhone 5 for sale. Huh. Um, well, I'm looking at the ad right now. It says... Black 32 gigabyte iPhone 5, and then it, it mentioned something about I, I guess Drake used to own the phone. Oh, man. Somebody's somebody's got to have my phone number posted on it. Some, I think that's I got a phone call from these idiots looking for to buy my phone the other day, and uh, that's they must have posted my phone number on something that's not me. Oh, I don't have an iPhone 5 for sure. Oh, I'm not sure one of these guys. I'm not sure if you have if you're these guys that don't call my fucking phone anymore, but if not, then no, that's. 
Wait. 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 Wait.
Oh. If you just want to come in and be no, more than I happy to help you. No, but look, man, help me out. I'm a customer. Just, just, uh, just hold on. The customer is always right, man. <laughs> for the pizza, do you make the dough yourself or, or is it also frozen? We make the dough ourselves, sir, yeah. But did you make it for me? Why does that, why, why does that pertain to the scenario? No, I'm just, I'm just curious because like you don't know that. I did not make the dough, sir. Oh, okay. Today I did not make the dough. Okay, okay, good, good. Uh, honestly, the last time I was there, uh, there was, I saw a guy come out of the bathroom and not wash his hands, so I was kind of a little bit disgusted about that. What's that? So I was kind of worried that maybe the, you know, the dough is a little bit unsanitary, something like that. If you want to come in, we'd be more than happy to serve you, but I do have to go. I'm very Got sorry. You. Okay, let me go ahead. I put my order in right now and then I'll come. Okay, in. what's your order, sir? Okay, let me get in uh, the one uh, jalapeno pizza large, right? Okay. Okay, extra, extra, extra jalapeno tree, right? Three, three extra? It's th three is fine. We'll give you three servings of jalapeno on the pizza. Okay, but three on top of the one, right? So a total of four, right? Like one plus two. Yes, that's correct, sir. Okay. And what's your name? Uh, it's Rakesh. Say again? R-A-K-E-S-H. Okay. And let me also get in uh, some kind of dry, dried serrano pepper, maybe put it on the crust. We don't have serrano peppers, man. Do you have like any type of paprika or, or just a, f a pepper flake? Yeah, we have red pepper flakes. Oh, okay. So just four times all things. Anything else? Yeah, yeah. And then can you just kind of just shake the pepper flake on it before baking? But, but before, right? You want to make it in the crust? Well, we're not going to do that for you. But but why not? We just don't do that here. We're, we're not, we're not. Yeah, no, I'm just saying like don't like like drizzle, right? Like, like shake, shake, shake on top. Anything else for you, sir, to get back to work? Yeah, I'm thinking honestly, the cookies sound good. Let's add like two uh, four cookies. Let me have two chocolate chip and then two sugar cookie on it. Good God, man. I, I just, you want the jalapeno pizza, is that it? Yeah, no, I want the jalapeno, but oh, cookies too, right? But I forgot you said you had this jalapeno. Okay, well, you can just buy the cookies when you get here, man. Yeah, just uh, any type of uh, juice or something that's not soda? You can just get juice when you get here. Yeah, I know, but I'm just wondering if I have to stop at 7-Eleven on the way over, if I should just come there. But 7-Eleven uh, is better, more efficient if I stop on the way. Just, I like efficiency, right? I don't like to waste time. So I don't like to waste time either, and frankly, this is a waste of my time. Wait, if you're not, no, if no, you no, but you're forgetting, remember? But I'm the customer, right? But what do they say? The customer. I'm aware, sir. The customer is what? But the customer is what? Say it. Say it, say it. Hello. <laughs> you are matched. Say hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing, bud? Yeah, I'm good. How are you, man? How's the day for for you? Oh, uh, I'm horny. Yeah, me too, man. Always horny. Yeah, no, always. Yeah, where are you calling from? Uh, I'm uh, calling from the Middle East. Really. Yeah, I know. I'm actually paying wow. a long distance. You better make this shit good, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So what are you looking for? Oh, honestly, man, I just want to like a bit my meat, really. Like, <laughs> to beat to my meat, meat to okay. Country, uh, bust a nut. Bust a right, nut. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll beat my meat. Yeah, you know, I'm actually, I only like to make a gay on, on uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, because in my country, you know, they're going to cut my hand off or something, you know, they find out I make a gay, so I just try to do it like undercover, uh, right? Damn, I've never been with a Middle Eastern before, you sound like a hot guy, man, what do you look like? Shit, man, no, I, I appreciate it, uh, I, I uh, you know, just tall, dark and handsome and, and, and bold, but aside from that, like... Oh, God, I love bald headed guys, what's your dick like? Uh, it's like a, like a five... Okay, uncut? Uh, yeah, uncut. Uh, we don't cut it here. Oh, I like that, man. So, w so when you fantasize about being with a guy, what, what do you like, man? You like getting your dick sucked, fuck, what? Honestly, I, I, I'm open to new things, right? Like, I just, you know, I'm, I'm so sick of girls, so, like, you know, it's very boring for me. I like to spice up my life, you know, just something very kinky, right? Uh, I don't want to scare you away with yeah. my kinky, so I want to kind of, what do you like? Uh, well, I'm a total cocksucker bottom. I like to... Just get naked for my man and go no limits. You know, whatever he likes, that's what I'm into. Yeah. So you probably won't bother me with whatever you want to do, man. I just want to make it your ultimate spice. You know? Oh, shit. Yeah, man. That sounds so great. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I love your yeah. assistance, you know, to grab my, to, to grab my, you know, my hot dog and just play with it a little bit. Uh, you know, you're play, playing with it with, with my one hand, you know, it gets boring after a while, you understand? I, I, that's all I have here. Yeah. yeah, I'd be all over you, man. I'd lick you from head to toe. Just worship you. Yeah, well, w w would you lick my nub? Hell yeah. 
I'll lick your nuts, I'll eat your ass, I'll, no, I'll lick you everywhere. No, I meant like my nub, oh. like N-U-B, N-U-B, is that what they say? You're, I'm sorry, N-U-B. You mean your dick though, right? Uh, no, uh, oh, I, 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 don't, I don't explain. Oh, sorry, uh, you know, actually, uh, they already cut off my left hand for, for being as uh, a gay, so I only have my right hand to play with it, so I have like a, like a nub, right, like a stub, like a, like a pirate. Oh, oh, fuck, I'd lick that for you. Oh, yeah. I'd love that, man. Oh. I just look you in the eye while I lick that fucking nut for you, man. <laughs> oh, suck on it. Yes. Suck on the end. Yes. Suck on yeah. my suck on my suck score, on honey. It. Yeah. Fucking get it wet, man. Just lick on it. Yeah. It. it. It's actually it's actually so oh. it's actually so good for fisting. It just slides right in there. You understand? Oh, dude, are you serious? Yeah. Oh my. Oh god, I've never done that before, but I want to. You like kiss and make out at all? Uh, yeah, I, I can. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Well, only if you want to, dude, but I would love that, man, shit. Yeah. I'd love to have your nub between my legs fucking me while you were making out with me. Oh, c can you make like a sound, uh, your... can you make like a making out sound for me, like, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, oh, yeah. uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. No, no, uh, don't sound like a bitch, I mean, just like, just like licking, licking, right? Like, just shake, shake the tongue. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, la 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 Shit, man. I hope, oh. I, I, hope you, I hope you live alone, man, because, like, your neighbors must think you're, like, fucking crazy, right? Oh, dude, I don't care, man. You got me so fucking hot. Oh. It's like you want to turn my phone into a fucking pussy, man. And oh. Get your dog deep inside me and spread my legs, man. Yeah. God. Yeah. And just fuck me with that fucking dog, dude. Yeah. Oh. Is, your, is, your colon, is your colon clean? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, only, I, only play, I only play when it is. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like... Clean. Uh, thanks, man. Sorry, because it's kind of like a, a boner killer for me when I like pull out my my stub and then it's like a like a piece of shit right on, on the end. No, 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 no. I don't like I don't like that method. Yeah. I can't. So you? Oh fuck. That's. Oh god. I can't even imagine having my legs but having you stick that in. Yeah, it's like it. it, it, it it's the crazy part is like I pull it out and you feel like you're gonna you're, you're gonna fear, see a fist eventually, right? And all you see is like my fucking rounded off stub, right? It's like whoa. Oh my. God, dude, fuck, why don't you come to America and do that to me? Yeah, you want God, to, you want, how about you marry me and then I can come like your husband and then I have a visa? Oh, dude, fuck, I would love that, man. Yeah. Be my fucking oh, Middle man. Eastern husband and yeah. fuck me every night. The American citizenship oh, makes God. me so hard. Oh, God, I want that, fucker, man. Fuck. Uh, dick. American busboor. American busboor. Oh, oh, fuck, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. God, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I just, I just exploded. Oh, you got me so hot, man. What's your name? Uh, yeah, it's Abdu. Oh, buddy, I'm Joey, man. Oh, shit. Man, so what part of the Middle East are you in? Uh, I am from Egypt. Okay. Uh, I thought Egyptians were more forgiving about the day. It's just like you have to be like an undercover, right? You have to be like a CIA gay, you understand? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's pretty funny in a way, but not. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, it's like it's like you know, I have to I have to jump through hoops like an acrobat. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, and so they cut off your hand because you're gay? Yeah. So I honestly, I'm so scared that they cut the other one off. I'm gonna have to take a couple of ribs out so I can just suck myself off. You know? Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, you know, but honestly, man, I would love to pleasure you with my nub for like you know for the rest of my life. So <laughs> when can you get me that uh, basbur? <laughs> Set you up for this prank. This isn't actually a job interview, and none of this is actually true. <laughs> what? Uh, your friend Katie. Oh my god. Katie. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. I was getting so fucking angry with this <laughs> Satanist crap. I was like, who is the? Who would even say this in a job interview? Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the fact and it was reminding me I was getting really upset because I missed the Marilyn Manson concert and it was making me oh. want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't make you cry, but I did specifically ask both uh, Katie and Ben. I was like, all right, if I'm going to get a react out of her, like what are some of the go-to things I could say that would just get her to react in a phony way? And a couple of things they told me was one of them was the, uh, the, the Marilyn Manson thing, the fact that you have some piercings. Um, and I, I just pried a bit to get some, like, information that would kind of tick you off a little bit. I think it worked. Um, yeah, just a bit. <laughs> oh, my God. But 
unfortunately... Literally, I'm shaking. I was so angry. Well, on, on, on the bright side, you don't have to actually try out any butt plugs or any... Or any, uh, <laughs> or any <laughs> oh, my the, God. Your comment about... Yeah, I know Ben did that stuff was fucking hysterical, by the way. That was <laughs> really funny. Because <laughs> he's like... Yeah. I think when you tell them this story, they're gonna get get a kick out of it. Um, I actually called Ben when I first called Ben. I kind of messed with him a little bit. I was like, I, I initially was just pranking him a little bit until he realized who I was. And he's like, Oh, that's who you are. And then he got excited and kind of told me the whole. Him and Katie have have plotted a little bit against you, but in a very friendly manner. I'm sure they just want to look back at this and laugh at some point. Oh my God, I can't. I'm. I'm <laughs> I actually thought that was real. I was like, Who the fuck would say about butt plugs over an interview? <laughs> And then the fact oh that I was like, god. I was like, yeah, I actually have one inside me right now. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, what the fuck? Dude, I almost fucking died. When you asked me to transfer, I got really giddy. I was like, okay, I get to use another character voice. So I pulled out the Indian character. And then I had a friend on, on Skype with me who was suggesting that I mention that, that, that I have a butt plug line in me too. And I was, it was just, it just took a lot out of me to... I, I was trying so hard not to laugh, and I was like, yeah, yeah, sorry, I had to just loosen it a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so weird how you can change your voice like that. It's brilliant, man. It is my specialty. Good but job. No, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I appreciate it, and thank you. you. You've honestly been a super, super great sport, so I really... Hello? Uh, yeah, hi. May I please speak with Alicia, please? May I ask who's calling? Hey, this is Russell calling with Carnival Cruise Lines. Um, this is Alicia. Yeah, I was calling regarding your upcoming reservation. I think you had uh, two cabins reserved with us here in November. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, yes, yeah, so we wanted to give you a call. Um, we had a particularly noteworthy individual call in making some demands about booking some certain rooms on uh, certain uh, cabins on the ship. And unfortunately, we were forced to forfeit your reservation. And I wanted to call and see what we could do, or maybe give you an alternate cabin on a different ship, or kind of see how we'll Why we did you have to forfeit our reservation? Well, you see, he actually, the individual did spend quite a bit of money for that cabin and paid quite the premium for it. Um, it it's actually just a really, really big celebrity that wanted that particular room. Our room? Y yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, it's just actually a really big deal for us to have Macaulay Culkin on our cruise um, and, you know, tweeting about it and that kind of thing. So we did, unfortunately, you know, have to uh, forfeit the reservation to him. Uh, yeah, and it was a wedding. It's our wedding thing, and I doubt that Macaulay Culkin is making a reservation from today till November of next year. Oh, uh, what, so what do you mean? I don't know where you're I – don't, I, don't, I don't believe you're calling me from Carnival. So I'm okay. going to go ahead and call okay. my reservation okay. agent, and I'll go from there. Have you seen Home Alone? Are you familiar with who this celebrity I is? I know who he is. I don't care. I really okay. don't care. Right now, you're telling me you, you canceled my reservation. I'm not sure if this is the, if this is a real call or a scam. I got so you. So I'm going to go ahead and call my, my agent but w and talk one, to him. One, and if one it's thing, the case, then I'll deal with him. I got you. One thing we were able to offer you, though, which is I'm the only one who can offer you this, he did tell us that he would give you a private autograph and photo session uh, to compensate you for the inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to help me out. No, I, I, I doubt I, that's the case. I, I, no, it's I, I not going to happen. Him, he, he's going to be doing some acting seminars uh, on the cruise, and, you know, it, it, it should be an interesting, you know, experience. We'll be able to participate to, uh, in that. We're going to be able to give you complimentary passes to his seminar. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. But I'll call my re uh, my reservation agent, and I'll talk to him about it. I can also go ahead and toss in the Home Alone box set, which would include Home Alone 1, 2, and 3. Um, uh, you're funny. God, this guy, this has to be a darn joke, someone calling me and doing that, but okay. But I anything. can buy the damn Home Alone tape somewhere else, buddy. I don't need you to offer me anything. I know, but you would have to pay money for it there, whereas we'd be giving it to you for free. I mean, free things are great, you know, so I want to give oh, you, well, I, I want to toss in as many bonuses as I, I, I'd, I'd like to keep my reservation as it was. I don't think this is a, a, an actual call. I'm going to go ahead and hang up on you, and I'll call my reservation well, agent. Could I possibly first. talk to somebody more level-headed, like your husband, perhaps? Or the husband-to-be, rather? <laughs> you go and have a great day. Ma'am, ma ma is that possible? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey, Alicia, I wanted to tell you one more quick thing. Uh-huh. Uh, th that, that, that whole call was a prank set up by Charlie. 
That little monkey is going to get his <laughs> ass kicked when I see him. <laughs> She pretty much, he pretty much said that you're going on a carnival cruise for a wedding in November, um, and he was telling me to call and say that someone else, that more important, booked the rooms and paid a lot more for it. So, uh, like, and then I, you I, came up with Macaulay Culkin, <laughs> that was your important person. Come on. I mean, I, I was like uh, a whole year and a half in advance. He's, uh, he's booking. I don't think he needs he needs to wait that long. Well, oh my god. I know. I was, we were Hello, literally. Monkey. My friends and I were thinking of like, what would be the most absurd celebrity to say that they they that are was the most <laughs> absurd celebrity <laughs> there you go charlie is is who who's charlie is he like your how my is, son well he doesn't actually i didn't message him back yet to let him know that i did it so if you want you could totally have him come home and be like somebody called me from carnival they canceled the cruise i've been calling over and over again you can, maybe you could probably twist it on him some way and make him feel pretty bad about it. If you were, like, make him think, like, you canceled the reservations, you called all your family to have them cancel, in case you wanted to twist uh-huh. it on him. Just an idea. Um, but, yeah, I wanted okay. to, I appreciate you picking up the phone again. I want to just call you back right away before you wasted your time calling your actual travel agent or, or calling I was friend. actually emailing him. I'm like, this is a number I got. Oh, my he God. They canceled. I was about, I remember, I'm like, they're calling me again. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I knew it had to be a joke. It couldn't be real. I After you said McCulloch, I was like, oh, God, really? <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, and uh, congratulations on the upcoming wedding, and I hope the cruise is as magical as you're hoping. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
for miles, leave it all behind. I just fade.